I mean, I think that Bobby Lashley is is ruined. And I think, and by the way, thanks to John ST1 for becoming a patron on patreon.com slash Joe Cronenshaw. My bonus content, eight to six hours a week. Listen to all my podcasts on Patreon. Plus here on youtube.com slash Joe Cronenshaw. They, dude, they, they, we were all like, oh my God, he's going to show up and he's going to confront Brock Lesnar. It's going to be Lashley versus Lesnar. Lashley like thrust into the main pitcher. And he comes out, he has a squash match, which was all right because that was the debut, I guess. Although it would have been really, I, I think, you know, when, when you're talking about the night after WrestleMania, it's, the mo- it's usually the most exciting thing when you thrust something, somebody new into a title picture and stuff. I just felt that this year's re- night after WrestleMania, Raw after Mania and everything else after Mania has been flat. Um, you know, you, you basically find out that you're really just waiting to see what the shakeup is the next week. And then the shakeup happens. And I don't know. I'm just disappointed. This guy's dead on arrival. Bobby Lashley is dead on arrival. The, the talent, I mean, I remember, what was it a year and a half ago? I was watching him in TNA and I said to somebody, I love him here in TNA. The ring is like, I don't know what it is. That ring, it's like the old WCW kind of ring. Bobby just appears to explode all over the place in that ring with his athleticism and, and everything. And I don't, you know, I don't love him on the mic or anything. Obviously, we've talked about this hundreds of times. With Bob. I'm not a big Bobby Lashley fan, but yet I am a, a fan of him because, you know, I was able to say, like, I like this guy, you know, when I didn't think I did before. Quite, I mean, honestly, seriously, quite frankly, sometimes I, I do. I find him boring. And WWE, so WWE needs to to give him a shot in the arm and, and bring him on like he's this just amazing thing, like the most amazing thing, you know, and instead he gets this sort of squash match in a in not the most featured spot time on the show. So great, great return, I guess. But then the next week to be in that 10-man tag and, you know, he, had, he was just there. He's just there. You've already forgotten about him at this point. It's like they just brought him in because people expected it, so bring him in for this surprise thing for some of the people to be surprised, and then that's it. Is he, I mean, like, dude, he's dead on arrival. What is he going to do? What, what are they doing with him? I thought he was going to come in and be this big, epic thing. I thought he should have shown up, like, kind of how, like, Paul White did. Remember when the big show first show, shown up in WWE? Shown up? No, remember when the, when he, the big show showed up? He just came from under the ring and he threw Steve Austin through the cage. You know, I thought that would have been, you know, Bobby Lashley could show up that way. Even at the, think about it, at the greatest rumble. Now, I know that some of you guys may know that I've been saying Roman Reigns should win the title at Saudi Arabia. Come back to the, to the WWE Raw and tell the American fans that the American fans suck and that these people actually rooted for Roman and, you know, at WrestleMania, people were booing and playing with beach balls while he was bleeding and sweating and trying to win a belt over a, a half t- a part-time lazy champion. And they booed him and didn't care. And when he was bleeding, they played with beach balls. I think that'd be a great story heel turn for Roman. But if you didn't do that, you could have had Bobby Lashley show up in uh, Saudi Arabia and attack, um, and attack Roman and ruin his whole thing. And then he, and then we, they could have gone on to do it on Raw, and they could have shown the footage on Raw, like, look what happened. Bobby Lashley showed up. They could have debuted him then, but that's where he should have been debuted. Which is weird because WWE used to be so good at this at debuting. You know, like when Jericho showed up, he 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 was right there with The Rock, one of the hottest superstars. You know, Bobby Lashley. I know that you know. I'm sure WWE people would say, well, he was in the main event, Joe. I mean, what do you want? You know, he was. He got to come in, Elias is over, and he got to beat up Elias in a very focal spot, and then he got to be in the 10-man tag, but I don't know, it just doesn't seem, it seems mediocre to me. I mean, if you're trying to push for this guy to maybe become a top mid-carder, then maybe that could be on the way, but it doesn't feel special like it needed to right off the bat. You know, people who are in the audience that don't know who Lashley is are like, so what? Like, don't we have a bunch of guys like this guy? I mean, you know. I, so I don't. I, I just don't know. I, I just think Bobby Lashley's dead. I think it's. I think they. I think they don't care. I think somebody's messing with us, or somebody's messing with somebody. And uh, Bobby and Bobby's just dead on arrival. I mean, it was just. I think it's piss poor booking and stupid. 
in my opinion. What do you guys think? Leave in the comments down below. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Hit the like if you want, whatever you think. Leave a comment for sure. Follow me on my Twitter page, at Real Cronin. And become a patron, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show for bonus content. We're always being suppressed by YouTube. And if you want my long podcasts, well, there you got to be. Um, what do you think about Bobby Lashley? Let me know. And I'll, uh, I'll see you uh, in the next video. And I'll see you after Monday Night Raw for the Monday Night Raw review. Uh, Monday night, of course. Unless they change it to a different night. All right, guys, we'll see you.